What's up, YouTube? So y'all already know what time it is today. We finna cook. Y'all been asking me where's the cooking vlog, and here go a cooking vlog. And this time it's not me. Y'all know the first thing I tell y'all to do every time? Wash your hands. Y'all know the first thing I tell y'all do before the meat? Wash that meat. Wash everything. You know what? Matter of fact, wash yourself. Make sure you got in the shower before you cook. Long story short, she kept trying to make me do something, and I didn't want to do nothing. Girl, I am a guest over here. You are cooking for me today. I always cook. Mind you, we haven't seen each other in six months. So therefore... This is finna be a story time on why we ain't seen each other in six months. We just ain't been talking or none of that. So, yeah. Two stubborn friends. Well, Both. actually, I wasn't being stubborn. It was you this time. Um, it wasn't me because I actually was stubborn. Okay. Bro, the kind of potato is the hardest part. Why would you make me do this? All right, what you're going to do is you're going to grab you a bag of red skin potatoes because I like red skin potatoes. I like to leave the skin on my potatoes when I cook them. So, therefore, get you a bag of red skin potatoes. I don't leave the skin on with rusted or Idaho potatoes. Ain't this what they call? I don't know what they call, but you're going to need a cutting board, a knife, and y'all see what the fuck going on. Take them potatoes, rinse them off. Do not use these potatoes without rinsing them off. You're going to taste dirt in your mouth. Your food going to be dirt just like that cousin y'all got sleeping on y'all couch. Ooh, so, rinse them off. Fine. Now, what y'all not gonna learn from me is cutting techniques, bitch, because I cut any way it come out. Y'all see I'm struggling trying to cut the damn potato. I don't even care if they come out diagonal, zigzag, triangle. I don't care. I just cut. They potatoes, they gonna get mashed up. I really don't care how they come out. All right, y'all already know what I'm gonna say. Rinse that damn meat. Y'all know I'm gonna tell you to rinse the meat. What the fuck is this nigga from the lamb? I don't like that shit. Give him very, very, very Y'all, we just went crazy. I don't know if I should feel bad for eating lamb, but I love lamb. I prefer lamb over steak. Like Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Couldn't even sing it without my voice cracking, but oh well. All right, so I finished cutting up my potatoes. I know this water looks so dirty. It looks like y'all bath water, don't it? It looks like y'all bath water. Tell me I'm lying. But no, for real, though, put the pot in the sink and let the water run over till it's clear. When I tell y'all I was so weak at this cutting board, why do it look like Jackie Chan had his fun with this board? Why? She's sitting here talking about, I kept putting it in the dishwasher so it keep on breaking. Why would you keep it? Throw it away. The more y'all see her, y'all gonna learn that she's slow. She the type to run out of gas. She run out of gas at least four times a year. Next up, we got our seasoning. Steady trying to season the fucking me today. Y'all, I told her to do the other pack, and she's not doing the other pack, but... I'll do it once these done. Okay. She said once those done. Play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Uh, just laying in it. Uh, spend all day in it. <laughs> That's what she said? Yes. Oh, I ain't never heard of those song. <laughs> I remember when I told y'all I put the pot in the sink and let the water run over till it turned clear. This is what I'm talking about. Y'all see how the water ain't dirty no more? Yeah. It tastes different. It tastes different. All right, y'all. So she forgot the heavy whipping cream, but she tried to bribe me to go to the store, and that's dead because before we left the store, I said, do you have everything that you need? Do you have everything that you need? I'm not going back. So I put her on a seven-minute time limit, and I said, you got to be back in seven minutes. You got seven minutes to be back. So she said, okay, I'm going to put these lamb on. Just watch the lamb while I go. I said, okay, that's cool, sis. I got you. If it's done before she get back, I'm going to eat it. Now, this is the part where I actually told her that she had seven minutes to go. Like, she didn't know she had seven minutes. So then here go her trying to hurry up and rush and leave and see if she's going to be back in time. So we like, all right, bet. We're going to see if she be back in time. I'm sitting here showing y'all the food, showing y'all her leaving. I'm turning on my timer so I stopped my camera so I could have my timer going so we could see if she make it back in time. But damn, them, ooh, them lamb chops look so good and they not even done. Look at these potatoes. But anyways, y'all, she made it. She, she had six minutes and 40 seconds left. Not left. She used six minutes and 40 seconds. So she had 20 seconds left. Bitch, don't, I didn't get no A in math. Leave me alone. Seconds. Okay, here she go flipping the lamb chops. Make sure y'all flip y'all lamb so it can cook evenly on each side. I'm over here so impressed that she made it back within seven minutes. Like, I'm still over here like, that was fast, girl. That was real fast. Okay, let's get your booty. I'm gonna put something on it. <laughs> well, if it looks like you don't got no pants on, like this. <laughs> like, we is so random and goofy. Like, I don't even know what made me say that. But anyways, y'all, we taking out some of the lamb out the pot. 
I was telling y'all that y'all were going to learn more about my friend. So she's so forgetful, right? So the asparagus that she had, they was borderline going bad. So she took the tops of them and separated them from the bottoms of them. And now we got some good asparagus. Don't judge nobody. Judge your mama. Don't think they was too bad, though. Nothing, just me casually handing her the other pack of lamb because she thought she wasn't going to cook my other pack of lamb chops after I done spent $70 on them lamb chops. You're going to cook every single pack of lamb chops that I bought. All right, so my potatoes was done boiling. As you can see, it's steaming hot. Okay, these are the lamb chops, and now she is going to make a sauce. I am going to make these red lobster biscuits and see how they turn out. And these are the asparagus. Okay, y'all, so right here, she's putting seasoning on the grass, and she's going to put seasoning on the grass. And what it is? What's the season? What's the season, baby? Oh, them hoes was looking good. Oh, what is it? What a bone the red. Wait, what a bone red? Then we're done. Okay, we done put our sauce on now. So yeah, that's all it is to it. All right, y'all. So y'all gonna grab y'all a bowl. This the bowl that I'm using. Grab the pancake mix, which biscuit mix, whatever it is. Grab that, and then you're going to need a measuring cup. And don't judge me because I'm going off of the box instructions. I ain't never made these before. And if I ain't never did something before, I'm going to read the instructions. I don't care. I'm not ashamed to say it. I will read the box. But it says you need three-fourths cup of water, a cup of cheese, and you need the biscuit mix. And you also need some butter and the little mix packet that come in it to make the sauce or whatever i don't even know what i said i'm just over here assuming but that's what i said that's that was it okay Oop, i was right three fourths cup of water then you pour the mix in the bowl mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. pour the water stir it up all of that stuff all that good stuff and if you don't got no cheese cheddar sharp cheddar you can use whatever kind of cheese you want Ooh, excuse me you want to use um i'm using this because she barely had any sharp cheddar cheese because she said she barely put it in her mac and cheese but anyways you need a half a cup of cheese or one cup i don't know what it was but anyways i'm stirring it up just like this and that's really all it is to it y'all just gonna wash the rest and don't be that person do not be that person that don't spray your baking pan you don't want your biscuit sticking to the pan so when you take the biscuit the bottom part gonna be stuck and you only gonna have the top we don't eat biscuits like that no more we don't do that we literally Season our pan, bitch. I meant to say oil, but you, you oil your right, So she mashing up the potatoes, but she ain't mashing aggressive enough for me, y'all. She need to put some anger into it. Like, mash these potatoes up. Mash them up harder. Okay, so y'all, when y'all put the biscuits on the pan, you basically take a spoon and then basically put them on the pan. And you're going to have to use your fingers because they're not just going to come off with no type of scooper or none of that stuff. So you're going to have to use your hands. So as long as your hands are clean, it shouldn't be no problem. And they end up coming out like this. I think I put a little too much in one of them because i got like an odd number of biscuits and i know that the biscuit number should definitely be even but whatever it is i really don't care the biscuit's gonna be good all right so here's to the mashed potatoes you're gonna need some parmesan cheese some heavy whipping cream some butter and that's pretty much all i see put her put in there. I, girl i cannot talk but yeah so we about to put the lamb inside the sauce right, this is the sauce that we put them in so they just cooking all right, so she had got done cooking. I had stole one of the lamb chops, and I'm just like, let me review the lamb without the sauce. Like, y'all, when I tell you that lamb was so good, it didn't even need no sauce. Like, I literally said it, like, this don't need no sauce. Like, it was so good. It was cooked to perfection. Like, y'all see me shaking my hand. Like, that's how you know the lamb was so good. I wish y'all could taste this stuff. Like, Maybe one day I'm going to do a tasting where I cook stuff and y'all can taste my food. Because y'all be having to taste how this stuff, y'all just got to taste it, bro. But we ain't got some wine, y'all. And I just want to say thank her for this wine because she said it's red and sweet. So we finna see if it's good. Y'all, I'm going to show y'all what she did. Okay, y'all, so I thought this was funny, so please enjoy a two-minute-long episode of how not to open a wine bottle, okay? Because she was struggling with this wine bottle. Don't you just put all in there, then twist it, and then pull up at the same time once it's deep enough? Yeah. <laughs> I hate opening these damn things. No. <laughs> this is not. It looks like a pear. 
here, bro. Is it this is. my bigger bird? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's cute. I thought you I just never put, use it. I thought you just take it and pull the whole thing up like why it's like that. And I thought you just pull it. Like, pull it. Let me see. There we go. You <laughs> see? Yeah. But then you're supposed to be able to push it down. God damn. Bitch. You're supposed to be able to just. But y'all, that's how you do it. See, she just. All madness aside, um, these biscuits look so good. I don't know how long I put them in there though, y'all. But we finna go ahead and hop into this salsa. Basically, they told you that you need a cup of, well, four tablespoons of butter. I don't remember what it said. I think it's four tablespoons of butter. Y'all know how on the pack you got the tablespoon, so you just cut it. So yeah, you had to melt the butter, pour the sauce in there. And then after I was done doing that, I basically poured it over the top of all of the biscuits. As you're gonna see in this clip here, I'm just pouring it. I'm not doing shit even. But anyways, this is how they look when I was done. They look yes, so they look good. Bitch, so <laughs> I don't know nobody that got this perfect. The last time I was trying to make the bitch was flat and runny. <laughs> This is the plate, y'all. It's her plate. She chose to get a different plate. I don't know, but I want glasses. I do. Oh, yeah. Oh, we could do a little more in the way. Yeah. This is not as sweet as you said. This is not sweet. It's sweet. Yeah. No, this not. This tastes like liquor. It don't taste like liquor. Yes, it do. It's good to be a sweet red rind that gets you a I had a sweeter red rind, but I don't get you a buzz. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. I'm finna dig in and eat. We're gonna go ahead and tell y'all about what was going on. So, in six months? Basically, <laughs> the reason why I put the title when I said we didn't talk for six months is because, was it six or seven months? It was close to seven. I didn't know it was that yeah. long. Time kind of flew by. Basically, we went on her birthday trip and both of our attitudes really like, but this happened before, but we just ain't never like not talk this mm -hmm. long, you know? And she still be like talking to my mom, like my mom still be interacting with her and stuff. So it's not like we beefed out, like we more like family. Literally. But we had our run around. So basically after her birthday trip, we was arguing on her birthday trip, y'all. And after her birthday trip, we just went our separate ways and just to stuff from each other that we wasn't talking. But it was me. It was me. Mm -hmm. She tried to reach out after that. I did reach back, but she reached out again and I just ignored her. Cause I'm so like, she's admitting y'all to y'all for the first time and she ignored me because she told me she was ignoring me. Yeah, I did ignore her. <laughs> <laughs> I seen her text, I didn't respond. <laughs> I definitely sent the text. I'm like, I'm not feeling her no more. Like, this is not what we're gonna do. But 
I've been thinking about her the whole time. I've been like, the whole time we ain't been talking, I'm like, I hope she doing good. I've been seeing her, she been doing her music. I still, you know, show her love, still like it. I didn't unfollow her or nothing, but Instagram, I did move her for following And y'all know how serious it is when somebody is your friend or your family and they don't follow you on Instagram. But y'all, that was the only app. I still was watching her for Facebook. I still was watching her on TikTok. <laughs> I probably sound weird because y'all know how they be like, bitches don't like you, but they still be following you. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that I don't like her. I just like, I still love you, but I'm not fucking with you right now. Mm -hmm. I still, I didn't unshare my location. We still been sharing each other's locations and stuff like that. So it was not that deep. Yeah, not so much as she made a post. What? Just to let me know that she's still my friend. <laughs> well, even though we don't talk, as long as we share locations, then I mean, what you say? No, what you say? I had made a post and I was like, we not really officially done being friends until I unsure my location. So yep. we still share locations. We still friends. I'm just not fuck with you right now. Yep. And that was just my subliminal to let her know, like, I still fuck with you. I still love you. <laughs> but right now, we not fuck with each other. Like, basically, that's just like the whole rundown. So it's been seven months, y'all. This is our first time linking up since then. We end up, t I don't know. We both kind of like, it was around the same exact time. She sent me a message and I was thinking about her that same day. <laughs> and it was just weird. And I was talking to my girlfriend about it. And I'm like, oh my God, I was thinking about her. Like, you know, and she texted me that same night. I woke up the next day. I sent a message and she was just like, basically, let's squash everything. And I was like, yes, I'm down. I was just thinking about you. I miss you. Like, bitch, I miss my friend. I miss my bitch. So, my head that out. I came over today and. We cooked this food. Well, she really cooked. All I did was cook the biscuits. <laughs> I told her she was cooking for me today. And I really was trying to get her to cook. Because she was trying to get me to cook. But I always be cooking, so. And you do. Yeah, she can cook today. So this meal was sponsored by her. It's very delicious. Now I just got some sauce in my eye. In your eye? In my eye. Girl. <laughs> She boosting. I don't know how she got sauce in her eye, but she got sauce in her eye. Y'all, that's good. So she over there. <laughs> but this food's so good, y'all. Like. We always enjoy each food. One thing about this, we know how to cook. <laughs> We ain't thinking that we just gonna cook. <laughs> we throw us down. We gonna throw a feast and it's only two of us. Mm -hmm. Y'all, she lied about this wine. Let me show y'all. And I was sitting here praising her before I even tasted it. It's good. It's not nasty, but it's not as sweet as I thought. I thought it was like red electric sweet. Like, y'all know what red electric is? That's just sweet. They show that. They show that roof Chris, but he ended up telling me what it's actually called if I go get it in the store. I went. It's this one. I went, I went to this restaurant. Oh my God, it's me and my pee. I went to this restaurant and it was a, I went to look the name down, I gotta remember the name. But it was a street red, a sweet, a sweet red wine. And it was so, like you could tell them was some, them grapes was. Yeah, that's the wine I had at Ruth Chris. It was so sweet yeah. and it was good, it was red. And he was like, you know, he was telling us, you know. You remember the name of it? It's called Red Electra when I go to the store to buy it. Cause he, the, the dude who was in the kitchen, he the one who ended up telling us. It's called Red Electra. He was like, you can go get it. So I started buying Red Electra. It's really good. Yeah. But I don't know if you go to the store and buy it. They only sell it. I think they only sell it at like Publix. They might sell it at Publix. See, only thing I've been noticing, like when you buy sweet red wines, a lot of times they don't really give you a buzz. Mm -hmm. So it's like find the right ones that's good and they give you a buzz. Right. Okay, the biscuits is good. Like, let me taste them. They, they are. They ain't hard. Did y'all taste the biscuits? Oh my God. Perfect. Mm. I don't like the biscuits. Yeah, like the biscuits. Um, yeah, he don't like my biscuits. Yeah. Amen, you don't like nothing because you don't want to eat. Yo, let me try his plate. And that's his favorite damn meal, so he must be full. He ain't eat nothing. He didn't eat nothing. Ooh, I done poured some sauce on my head. Okay. We're here all day. My girlfriend probably bored because I've been here all day. She asked me before I came. She said, how are you going to be there? I said, um, I don't know. We finna talk, fix it, check, you know, catch up, talk. I'm like, shit, I don't know. <laughs> But anytime I come up here, I really can't put a time limit on how long I've come for. Because I damn near be staying at night. Like, I don't know what time I come up here, I look like 4 a.m. Yeah. Like, well, we did the other TikToks. Oh, yeah. We did the high TikToks. Mm hmm. I still, actually, I stayed at night that night. Mm -hmm. I ended up falling asleep on the couch. So. Yeah, that's basically yeah. how I go. How clear it is, sure. 
you do be carrying your fucking bonds. I be carrying the fuck out of my shit. You know he don't. Then she got me chasing yeah. with this strong ass line. This is a liquor. Mm -hmm. I feel like I need a Stella Rosa with a kick. Don't they got like a? They don't have a, like a high um one with like a high alcohol level. Like that shit, the highest I've seen, like 5%. Really? Yeah.